This autumn, So Damn Local revisited Lousterfink, the educational community garden near Slota Dyke. But tell me, what are these that you were talking about harvesting? Those are the um, Jerusalem artichokes. Jerusalem artichokes? Yeah, yeah. So they're called Jerusalem artichokes because they have an artichoke taste. Okay. And actually they are related to the artichoke as well, but they don't look obviously anything like artichokes. And what you eat is under the ground, it's the tuber. Yeah. So you've got all this. You've got up all here, this, and, and then you've got, and and sometimes there's tons of them, and sometimes not. And they're actually known as kind of a, they're very invasive. Right. Yeah. So actually, they're not supposed to be here because we took them. We thought we took them all out last year. We didn't want them here. We wanted them only there. Hi guys. So, um, but if you leave just a couple in the ground, yeah. so this was supposed to be all beans, but but they're so pretty, aren't they? Yeah. 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 I really love them, and you can see they attract all kinds of insects. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's in some of the parks, like in the Oster Park, yeah. and I think in Frankendall, they're everywhere, and they have parties, like harvesting mm -hmm. parties for everybody because they need to get them out of the ground, or otherwise they'll take over the whole park. So it seems like they're naturally suited to this climate. They do really well here. Right. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and I don't know what they're... <laughs> people ate them. They're called Ardpeer in Dutch. Ardpeer. Like Ardpeer. Ardpeer. In English, they're called Jews from artichokes or fartichokes. <laughs> and there's yeah. a reason for that, and that's why they're not always so popular, because... Yeah. You do get really gassy afterwards. <laughs> but they're really quite delicious because yeah. they have the artichoke taste, but like a potato yeah. consistency. So I started taking gardening classes with Anne and Suzanne uh, like six months ago. And uh, I come here about once a month and learn about different aspects of gardening and help out with uh, weeding and harvesting and all that. Um, and yeah, just learning as I'm going. Uh, my goal with coming here was to learn how to grow my own food. What's your favorite bit of it all? Um, getting my hands dirty. <laughs> yeah, and then um, just seeing what can survive and, um, and of course harvesting what actually does survive, like tomatoes and things like that. It's definitely a lot of hard work and there will be disappointments, but I don't know, for me it's all fun. It's, it's all learning, it's all... Uh, learning about being more self-sufficient. So far I've met some really, really nice people. Um, but I, I feel like we all have this uh, connection of wanting to be have a sustainable way of life and uh, we have an appreciation for plants and gardening and it, yeah, it's really nice. It's just a nice little community of people. Yeah, what is it you've just done? Uh, well, I just uh, I just dug them out basically. Um, they're a bit small, so a bit uh, tiny. Mm. so I, I used the spade here to kind of loosen them and get them out. But uh, the greens are also edible, so this is a lot more of a harvest than it, it looks at first. So. Oh, the leaves! And how, so you've learnt quite a bit just from dropping by with Judy. What um, things have you taken back, like lessons to your? Their rooftop garden. Well, I'll put it this way. A year ago, if you had asked me about plants, I, I didn't know anything. I would have told you I would have killed any plant that you put in front of me. And, you know, now I'm, I'm growing my own food. And, you know, now I, I believe that I can grow plants and eat them, which is a, a, a radical change from before this season. So, What are you harvesting here, Anne? Um, also, well, two things. So drew some artichokes. And then this one is More called... More Jerusalem artichokes. No, this is something else. This oh. is uh, even weirder. It's called Krasny. Krasny. Krasny, and it has another name too, which I can't think of right now. Uh, something, Japan's Andorn, I think it's called in Dutch. I'm not really sure, but yeah. it's like these, they're so cute. So that's the root, and that end is like a little corkscrew thing. Yeah. And they're really, they're a little bit like water chestnuts. They're kind of neutral tasting. I think they're really nice. They have a yeah. really nice crunchy texture. Thank you. And they're um, from, yeah, they're kind they of came from France a long okay. time ago. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, and they're not very popular here, yeah. but they grow really, like, they're one of these things like shrews and artichoke that are pretty much invasive, so once you have them, and then, like, we'll har harvest them now, but the plants will come back next year, even if you leave a tiny little piece in the ground. Because it just kind of looks a little bit like a weed. It does look like a weed, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, they're not the most beautiful plants, but I've grown to love them. Aww. They're great, like, they're great ground cover, too. Like, they're one of these plants that it's a great, it's good to have in the garden, because it will just spread and block out other weeds, in fact, and then at some point you can harvest Okay. Yeah. 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 So I'm a big fan of them. What are you gonna do with them tonight? Oh, that's a good question. In the harvest. Leave those things to Suzanne because she's like the she always has good ideas. But I think th I think they're really nice raw. So I would tend to just um, put them in a salad or something. 